the weather wreaking havoc on air travel all across the country. This is a live look at Newark Airport. You can see it is already extremely busy because more than 8,000 flights were delayed, 1,300 canceled on Sunday, and we're already seeing hundreds more this morning as more dangerous weather takes aim. Ginger, I know you have the latest forecast mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, no, that's the thing is Ernesto was separate, right? Like that was all the rip currents and the beach erosion, but this was just a front that was sat around too long and that stationary front then had training thunderstorms on it and there was a flash flood emergency just hours ago, even in Suffolk County, New York on Long Island there. And so we've got pictures. This is just west of it in Northport, but look at this Terryville or the area there near Port Jeff more than 10 inches and widespread. We had two to four inches, which is nothing to sneeze at, but up there in Connecticut, and that's the region. You can see it's north of New Haven, kind of southwest of Hartford. That's where you had 12 to even radar estimates of close to 15 inches of rain falling in just like three or four hours. So that's why you saw that flash flooding. The risk is still high, especially in parts of the Green and White Mountains down into Hartford again today. So Connecticut beware. Worcester, Massachusetts also in that elevated risk. There is the storm right now. That's Ernesto, totally separate right and it strengthened after it went through Bermuda the waters there are some 10 to 15 degrees above normal in the North Atlantic so it's going to keep going out but we'll still have rip current risk some beaches close today okay Ginger, yep. thanks.